something I want to say that I find is really interesting. I don't know if other people have picked up on this as well, but if you ever notice, the devil's name is often used as a scapegoat, and it's and it's really it, it makes sense as you know, the devil or whatever is usually depicted as a scape as a goat, and I find it to be really interesting just analyzing all this stuff, just seeing why the world is the way how it is but um yeah something that i notice is when a being is corrupted and they see that things are going in a way that they don't like and it's usually the frequencies are going higher people are standing in their power these different kinds of things or if things aren't working out for themselves they tend to blame the devil right you know they're blaming a deity that they don't know anything about you know, a, a deity that is deserving of love and all these different kinds of things, just as much as everyone else. It's so interesting, right? But, yeah, they would just blame them for all these different things. So whenever you notice, you see things that are working or or, or think new concepts or, or fresh ideas or whatever that that's positive for the world, people start blaming the devil and everything like that. But something that I'm thinking about is... You know, what if that's not a bad thing? You know, the devil, right? And and God and all these different kinds of things. Because they're all children of the universe. And they're all protectors of this planet. And they all have jurisdiction over this planet. And they're all important to this planet. In ways that most people cannot fathom. Because it's it takes you to really detach from, like, the human experience to realize these things like it takes you to detach from like the sheep experience to to honor to truly understand these things and think for yourself you know because if you really look at it for how it is the devil or whatever just as as much as any other god you know because you can you can pretty much man i, I can't wait to learn more about these kind of things because i'm actually really curious but I don't want to speak on that because I'm not. I don't have the information on that yet. I need to. I need to get more information on that uh, before I can speak on that. Cause I don't like to speak on things that I'm aware of. Um, but um, yeah, you know, what if these deities want to help? You know, what if these deities are are not bad like people think they are? You know, it's so interesting. I find it really interesting because I'm not into bullying of any any kind. Anyone shouldn't be bullied, you know. Um, you know, just because they're different or whatever. I'm not into it. It's just like you know when I was watching Dan Machi, when you you saw like humans were really like skeptical towards these monsters that have intelligence and they have pure hearts and everything like that. And they just want to be appreciated, you know. I feel like that with like 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 the devil or whatever, you know. It's just like, you know, if, you, if you're into, like, Hellenism, um, you may see the underworld, um, um, you know, Hades or whatever in a different light um, as you know that, you know, he had it bad, you know? Like, in, in Hellenism, um, it's kind of, like, reversed. But something I realized, you know, Hercules... They made like Zeus like the really like you know the really loving and 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 gleeful guy, and they made Hades like the bad guy. You know, I noticed that. It's it's so interesting how they how they try to like kind of like warp everything and distort everything and and this and and just make us believe all these different things. That's why I don't really trust what I what I'm exposed to. I just I just detach from it and I just look at it for what it is instead of detaching myself to all these different things because that's how you get trapped you know you get trapped if you trust all this like yellow journalism and all this like control and all this this brainwashing everything like that and they make you think that like your ally is your enemy and your enemy is your ally and all these different kind of things it's so interesting but um yeah you know like i think it's very interesting you know so that's something i noticed whenever i see something that's like more positive or whatever like, people will be like, oh, the devil, oh, this, that, that. Like, I'm sure, like, there's people who are, um, who are, like, enlightened beings, right? And came into this world very enlightened, very different, very unique, very spiritual. And some of them had experiences 
where, you know, people will call them like a devil or this or that because they're different or because they're spiritual. All these different kinds of things. This has happened throughout history. Um, people would say these different things when really they're not bad at all. And I feel like people who say that, they're just like projecting their own corruption upon others. Because like really what I'm curious about is what is a devil? What is a devil being? Because we've never been exposed to a devil. At least I haven't been exposed to a devil. Most of you guys have not been exposed to a devil. You know, that's why I like to say corrupted. I don't like to say demonic. I don't like to say devil or whatever. That's discrimination. Because you don't really know these beings. What is a devil? Well, from what I know, there is a being in the underworld of this world, of this planet, that is connected to Gaia and is protecting Gaia and is watching over the the realm of pretty much like the dead and the damned and all these different kinds of things and they're neutral you know all deities are supposed to be neutral and if they abuse their power they will be stripped of their power you know that's how it goes um whether you believe in that or not they will be stripped of their power because power is not meant to be abused um but yeah you know it's just so interesting you know, they try to, they try to, you know, gather at the mob. And, you know, this world is so fearful that people can't think for themselves. So since they can't think for themselves, they just go into these fear modes and they just fear monger. And they just, it's like Shrek, you know, like, it's not pretty much what Shrek was about. Like the Shrek, the first Shrek, you know, Shrek was a genuine dude and all these different things. He just wanted to live his life and everything like that. And they kept on bringing the mob against him because he's different. And he's like an ogre. He's not human. And you have all these people that's just bringing the mob. Uh, I'm pretty sure Shrek's like a fairy. Yeah, Shrek's a fairy tale. It's like an ancient like a fairy tale. Like I think like a European fairy tale. Um, But it's just so interesting, man. How fear-based this world is. You know, that's why this world is the way how it is. People don't have guidance. People are afraid of everything. So they fight themselves and, and you know, and whoever is, like, has, whoever is, like, pulling the strings is just, you know, just, oh, my God, just, like, One Piece. You watch Dress Rosa? Dress Rosa, that's pretty much, like, um, with uh, Dos Flamingo when he, oh, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to spoil it. But Dress Rosa, Dress Rosa, Dress Rosa, Dress Rosa. Oh, my God, Dress Rosa. But, um, yeah, it's just really interesting. All this stuff is just really interesting. It's fascinating. Um, cause like, I don't really, I don't really understand it, but, um, yeah, it's a sad thing, you know? Um, and whenever there's people who have, you know, hope and want to help and, and, you know, help get raised the frequencies of the world and get it out of stagnancy, there's people who try to, uh, project their project. Uh, the corruption or their fears or whatever and try to stop people you know it's very interesting very interesting but um yeah i just want to say that